Hello again everyone, this is Mr. G, and welcome to the video walkthrough for your week 7 microcomposition assignment. In this week, we're going to be finalizing what we wrote in week 5 and week 6, now adding intentional chord sequencing. We're going to add some chord progressions and dabble a little bit more into harmonization. So, needless to say, you should open up your week 6 before we get started. Once your week 6 is open, go to your harmonic minor section, or I should say the section that contains your scale. In this case, I have F harmonic minor. Yours could be different. We are going to add some Roman numerals here as guideposts to our scale degree 1, 4, and 5. So go ahead and click your scale degree 1, go to system text, or rather text, then system text, and then put in a Roman numeral one. <laughs> Case does matter. Okay, now if it ends up being up there, simply click and drag to make sure that it's in the correct spot. We'll do the same thing with scale degree four. Go to text, system text. There we go. And now we put a lowercase four. Again, because in minor, a chord built on scale degree one is minor and a chord built on scale degree 4 is also minor. Then go to scale degree 5, do it one final time, put a capital V, because a chord built on scale degree 5 is major in harmonic minor. Okay, so now we have our primary chords established. So in F harmonic minor, that's F, B flat, and C. If you remember from last week, you should already have at least one of each of those chords already, and evidently, I do. I have a 1, a 5, and a 4 in that order. Now what you need to do is go to where you have those chords and check to make sure that the melody note, whatever that is, its uh, name matches one of the notes in your chords. So say, for instance, in the treble clef, I have an F. And I have an F chord here, F, A, C. That's good. Then let's move over to my five chord, C, E natural, G. There's a B flat here. That does not match any of the notes. So what I need to do is just move it until it does. So now that C matches one of these notes in the chords, perfect. Then I go to my four chord, B flat, D flat, and F. Now, if you have an eighth note, you just it just matters about the note that lands right on the beat. So in this case, it's B flat. B flat does line up or match one of the notes in this chord, so I'm solid there too. So once I've gone through and made sure that whatever note is in the treble clef matches one of the notes in the bass clef for each of my primary chords, I need to refresh my memory on what other chords I have just to see what I'm working with and what I need to do to move forward. All right, I am back. You will also notice that I moved the Roman numerals down to the lower staff just to make it a little bit easier to see and more consistent with my placement of the other Roman numerals. If text, system text, gives you trouble and causes the staff to extend, what you can do instead is go to palettes, text, then go to Lyrics, and that will guarantee that it's placed right at the bottom where you want it to go. Okay, now that I've got the rest of my chords in, I've got a 3, a 3, and a 7. Let's double check the requirements first to make sure that I have the right ending and the right beginning. I believe it doesn't matter what I start with, but I cannot end on a 7. It needs to be a 5 or a 1 chord. So let me go ahead and fix that first. Whoops. So then let me just go ahead and put that whole thing up to an F. So now I can change that. Whoops. Double click. Then click inside and then you can change it to a 1 or whatever chord you needed to change it to. And then I also need to make sure my treble matches my harmony in the bass, and I'll make that an F as well. Okay, 
So now that I've got that, my song is ending on the proper chord. Now I need to double check the flow chart to see if my chord progression is okay. I've got a one. Now one can go to anything, so I'm in good shape there. I've got a three. Three can go to a four or a two. It cannot go to a five. So then what I would need to do in this case is probably change this chord altogether. So what can three go to? Three can go to a four or a two or a six. It is totally up to you which one you pick. I am going to go to perhaps a four. I think that would be easiest. Shift that up. I don't need to change the treble because that it's a D flat. And in my harmony, I've got B flat, D flat, and F. But I will need to change my Roman numeral, so let's go ahead and do that to a minor four. And then I've got a four and a five. Perfect. Oh, but five cannot go to four. Hmm, so in this instance, I don't want to remove that four. I like where it is. So what I can do instead is I'm going to add a harmony here that five can go to. I'm going to choose to turn this into quarter notes. And then I'm going to add an F chord here. Perfect. So now let's double check. I've got one going to three. That's good. Three can go to four. 4 to 5 to, oh, let's make sure to add the Roman numeral here. Okay, 1, 3, 4, 5, 1, to 4, to 1. Okay, and my composition is complete. Again, making sure that your treble clef matches your bass clef, not just where you have the primary chords, but all of your chords, in fact. And on that note, I actually forgot to adjust this treble clef, so let me just do that briefly. That's better. And once you have listened to it, if you like the way it sounds, you can keep it as it is. Otherwise, you can adjust freely. You can use uh, the same chords that you have and just change your melody. If you don't like the chords how they are, you can change those too. And you can use the chord progressions that are provided on that Justin Guitar webpage for some additional guidance. Once you've listened to it and you like how it sounds, make sure to give it an appropriate title and then do all of the regular things to share your composition. Share. Make sure anyone with the link can view. Copy, save, and then paste it as a comment into this assignment. And with that, you are done. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or if you need additional help with navigating NoteFlight and operating it, just get in touch with me at any time. Music be with you.